Alrighty, I just did a Glaive Prime video, and in that video I explained that the Glaive Prime is the Slash King, right? Does massive amounts of Slash, etc, etc. Now, the Serata is the cousin of the Glaive. The Serata force procs Toxin. Now, what is so amazing about Toxin? Well, it's a damage of a time status effect that ignores shields entirely and goes straight for the health bars of enemies. Meaning, Corpus. The Serata is arguably the best weapon in the game when it comes to dealing with Corpus enemies, and I would argue to be the best Glaive in Warframe. I know, bold statement, but it is stupidly strong, and I will go through why I think this is the case later on in the video. So here comes the debate. Which one is better, the Serata versus the Glaive Prime? Well, here's the thing. Toxin as a status effect is unfortunately affected by enemy armor, whereas Slash ignores armor entirely which is where Slash is usually favored, but that's okay, let me explain. The Serata is actually perfectly capable of eliminating the entire population of Corpus, and is still perfectly capable of destroying Star Chart enemies, and base steel parts with a little bit of scaling. Granted, not as good against Grenier enemies comparing it to the Glaive Prime, but still capable nonetheless. And if you want to scale, then armor stripping is the solution. A quick thank you to all of our channel members, your support means a lot, thank you so much. The reason I love the Serata is because it is an MR7 glaive that can be obtained through your clan dojo, specifically the Biolab. It's an MR7 weapon that is pretty much as good as the Glaive Prime to some degree and is free and doesn't cost. The only tedious thing about the Serata is the 2500 Cryotic. Rip. However, the Serata paired with an armor stripping ability will easily scale against any faction. In the Glaive Prime video, I explained how Glaives work and how to use them, so if you haven't seen that video, then you can go and check that one out. Let's move on to the Serata characteristics. The Serata deals mainly Toxin and has forced Toxin procs plus Impact procs on the Glaive Throw Explosion. It will bounce up to 3 times and travel up to 33 meters fully charged. The Serata also has the same mechanics as the Glaive where you can wield a secondary while holding the Serata and shooting plus reloading won't be interrupted when the Glaive comes back to you. It also has a 1 meter punch through. Another thing I didn't mention with the Glaive Prime is that Glaive Explosions give you self stagger. So to combat that, you can either run Unaru Poise or just simply use a frame with knockdown immunity. It has a crit chance of 19% and a crit damage multiplier of 2.1 times. In my previous video, someone commented saying that a heavy attack build with heavy attack efficiency is better. Granted, I have never actually played this playstyle, so I decided to give it a try. And here are my thoughts on it. When it comes to glaives, the explosion from the throw scales with combo counter. If you have 12x combo, you're going to be getting a massive damage boost from the explosion. And if you pair it with power throw, then well, yes, it's a big damage boost. But the whole gathering your combo first by either throwing it to enemies and scaling the combo or grouping them together and hitting them a few times to gain your combo counter seems just a bit tedious. Yes, in theory, you get way more damage, but I personally just prefer using a glaive as a quick switch to melee, delete a group of enemies, and move on instead of just focusing solely on the glaive. Here is an example here. And then here is the playstyle that I prefer. Much quicker and less headache, in my opinion. The combo scaling playstyle will work way better if you're either running Naramon, plus a grouping ability, so you can hit multiple enemies at once, and then trying to stack power throws so you can get max amount of damage. If you're not running that, then it is not worth it in my opinion at all. It just seems like so much work to do fancy big numbers when in reality all you need is a few hundred K just to kill them. So this depends on you and how you prefer to play it. All I'm saying is for practicality, the faster playstyle is better in my opinion. Alright, let's move on to the build I run for the Serata. I run the usual, Amalgam Organ Shatter for crit damage and wind up speed, Killing Blow for wind up speed and also more damage, and then Volatile Quick Return. I did explain this in the previous video. These are massive damage boosts, Gladiator Might for more crit damage, and then of course we run a Bane because we have Toxin procs and a Bane increases the damage over time drastically. Sacrificial Steel for that huge crit chance increase, Corrupt Charge for a base 2x combo, and then we run Primed Fever Strike here because we are adding Flat Toxin, which will ultimately of course increase the Toxin damage over time ticks. This build here I find to be the most comfortable against any piece of content I am doing, especially when dealing against Corpus. Obviously switch out the Bane to whichever faction you're fighting. Like I said, it shreds Corpus enemies. Also, psst, guess what? The Serata has significantly higher Riven disposition than the Glaive Prime, so you can make some fat-ass Serata Rivens if you want to. The stats, I would say, 
crit damage, crit chance to get those juicy red crits, initial combo counts, or maybe something like more toxin. If you are an early game player, then this is a budget build that you can work towards. If you are a super early game player and you don't have all these mods, then you can just get killing blow, crit chance, melee damage, and crit damage. Those four stats and mods will carry you through the entire star chart. I did just slap together this build for the heavy attack efficiency playstyle with power throw if you'd like to try that one out. So this begs the question, which one is better, the Glaive Prime or the Serato? It's simple, use both. Glaive for Grenier, Serato for Corpus. However, if you're wanting a budget Glaive that can pretty much do anything, then the Serato or the Zorus is a good option. I personally prefer the Serato over the Zorus. The Zorus has incredibly slow projectile speed, which I just, I don't like at all. The Serata is quick, does more than enough damage, and like I mentioned multiple times in this video, it deals with those pesky corpus enemies. Another really good use for the Serata is the Index. I have made a recent video on the Index where I explain how good the Serata is as a budget option. It allows you to casually farm the Index and it scales really well. I will put a link in the cards on the top right. So what are my thoughts? I personally say that Serata is better than the Glaive Prime because there is no 400 platinum price tag on it. It has a higher Riven Disposition, you can get the Serata at MR7, Toxin as an element isn't bad at all against all factions, and Corpus is a really tedious faction sometimes to fight against, so having something that just deletes them is really powerful. It's a Doja weapon, so it's easy to obtain, it has a fast wind up speed as well as good projectile speed, Yes, you'll need an armor stripping ability to deal with Grenier enemies or enemies with armor, but let's face it, this only becomes a problem in Steel Path and when you start to scale in Steel Path. We have many means to get armor stripping through Frames abilities, Inaru Corsic Strike, and the Hellman segment. Against Infested, well, it's, it's infested. They're really easy to kill. For me personally, with all this in mind, I think that the Serata is the best glaive in the game. Pairing the Serata with Octavia's Metronome ability and Amp, or Siren's Toxic Lash can scale this weapon drastically. And of course, let's not forget about our good friend Kalervo. He will be a really good option when it comes to the heavy attack combo scaling build and also giving you red crits. But I will say though that the animation of the heavy attack is a little bit weird when it comes to Kalervo, so he's not the best when it comes to Glaives. If you're the type of player that just simply refuses to buy the Glaive Prime, then the Serata is perfect for you. You can also make use of a primer to apply viral procs, which will increase your dot damage significantly. I have spoken about Mark of the Beast and Combo Fury as an option for boosting your secondary, so if you want to try that, this isn't a bad idea for that. To wrap up this video, the Serata is amazing in every way. It's perfect if you don't want to buy the Glaive Prime, and of course, like every Glaive, it shreds Acolytes. The best weapon for Toxin in my opinion, and probably one of the highest Toxin damage dealing weapons. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and I will see you all in the next one.